Hey guys, this is Jacob Horst, Trifecta Champion, and you're watching Garage Strength TV. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and click that notification button. Don't miss out on any of our videos. Peace! Okay, so we get asked this question quite a bit about what is the overarching importance of mobility and is mobility even necessary to be a targeted aspect of training to improve upon. So first, absolutely 100% we should be targeting mobility as strength coaches. We should be learning mobilizing systems. We should be learning little tools and little tricks, little distraction tools that we could, and mechanisms that we could use to improve mobility for a multitude of reasons. But what I wanna bring up is that in multiple sports, if, if you can, always go back to the, the overarching principle of strength for at least at garage strength is lengthening is strengthening okay so the longer i can make a muscle the the longer that muscle belly becomes the more strength i can gain and the more motor units i will recruit so if i'm doing dumbbell benches or, or a bench press here my prime movers will lengthen much more at, at a higher rate, my, or my motor units will be more recruited when they're fully lengthened than if I'm shortened in my pecs on a short range bench press. So if we can just keep in mind that mobility in different ranges, longer muscles can lead to greater motor unit recruitment, which can then lead to greater performance and greater output. So if we look at a bodybuilder, people are often confused and, and, and don't recognize that bodybuilders are complete freaks of nature. They're incredibly mobile individuals. They're incredibly flexible. And you can look up someone like Tom Platt and see his hamstring development. And that hamstring development is based off of how mobile he was throughout his posterior chain. And that's what bodybuilders are known for being able to, to hit split positions because of how they will train through multiple range of motions, but ultimately full depth squats, very long lunges so that they can lead to greater development throughout all their muscles, right? So this is a good example of where we can lead with mobility. And if we can use somebody like in the sport of throwing, if my trunk is, is tends to be a, a bit more static and when my left leg hits, I hit here, I can only produce force with two feet grounded from this position and I can only accelerate from here to here. But if I am more mobile in my trunk and through my hips and through my glutes, and I can catch the discus or the shot deeper here, now all of a sudden I can hit here and this extra foot and a half leads to greater acceleration. And the same will go with a sport like sprinting or football. The more mobile I am in my hips and my legs, the higher my knees can come, the more I can reach with my leg and I can get a better stride and a stride rate and the stronger my legs are, the better my turnover is. And we can use the example of Usain Bolt, who's 6'5", and he has an incredible stride length, but he's also extremely strong and has an incredible stride turnover rate. So, you know, he's done, he's done competing now, but if we use those examples to show the importance of mobility, if I'm super tight in my hips or super tight in my hamstrings and quads, my stride length will, will be diminish significantly, which means I have to turn over faster and expend more energy. Whereas if I'm stronger and more mobile, I can reach longer and I have a better stride. This is a huge factor in distance running as well. Now, if we get into the sport of Olympic weightlifting, if I'm more mobile, I can hold better positions off the floor in my hamstrings and my hamstrings are more fast twitch, so I can hold longer positions here and I can then use my hamstrings to recruit to finish through hip extension at the top of a pull. But then on top of that, if I'm very mobile in my hips, I can get into a little bit wider catch. And if, my, if I get into a little wider catch, I can get deeper. And if I get deeper into my catch, I don't have to pull the bar as high. So that means that the weight on the bar can be a little bit heavier because I'm so mobile, I can get down into a deeper catch and I can get more weight overhead. So these are all factors that go into mobility and we all have to play, we all have to understand and recognize this. And I've been heavily influenced by John, Dr. John Giacalone, 
who is the mobility doc in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So mobility doc has taught me a ton about mobility and continues to teach a ton about mobility. And it's something that I should have embraced even further in my throwing career. And I think that if we can all sit there and recognize the importance that mobility plays as far as athletic you know, longevity of your career, but ultimately your sports performance increases dramatically. It's not just injury prevention, it's, it's sports performance improvement. So if we can think about it as a factor, as a tool to make us better athletes, not to prevent injuries, but to actually make us better athletes and take that as another tool into a, the piece of the puzzle to make us elite weightlifters, football players, sprinters, anything that you can think of, embrace mobility, go to mobilitydoc.com, buy a mobility plan from garagestrength.com, mobilize on a regular basis, and you will become a champion.